Hi, hello and welcome to a new video. My name is Hans and this is Food Around the House. You join me once again on the rooftop garden and today it's time to transplant the peas. Let's go. We sowed the peas about two and a half weeks ago and look how big they've become already. All seeds but uh, one germinated. This is the only pot with one plant instead of two. And um, yeah, it's now time to transplant them. The peas will be transplanted into these uh, old fruit um, containers. I've lined them with some anti-rooting cloth and uh, I made some, some trellises for them to grow onto. Um, not the most beautiful trellises but they'll do the job. So I've got three of the fruit trays right here and I've also got um, this bed with the trellis next to it in which I will also place a part of the piece. So how do you know when to transplant your piece? Well, you have to look at the size of the plant. You want your plant to be about 5 or 10 centimeters in length. And you also have to look at the, the roots. Um, you've got to make sure that your roots don't grow out of your pots too much. Um, this one seems fine, just a little bit of rooting outside of the pot, but um, if the Roots are too much outside of the pot, like, like this one. Um, it may cause some problems with transplanting and you might damage the roots. Um, I'm going to be really careful transplanting these and hopefully keep the roots uh, undamaged, but uh, we'll see. I've just taken these two out of the pot and as you can see they have great roots already. Perfect for transplanting. So the first nine peas are in. Um, they look fine. I'm gonna just water them a bit, not too much because the soil was already quite wet. So a little drizzle of water and it should be fine. All right, I will finish all the other pea plants, or plant all the other pea plants and I'll be back. So all the peas are planted out now. The three trays over here and also the ones over there and hopefully they will now grow up the trellis and we'll be getting some nice peas at the end of May, beginning of June. We will be getting some, some cold uh, nights uh, in the coming days but uh, that should be fine for peas. Peas can handle a bit of frost without any problem. Uh, you might be wondering why I um, placed the trellis and planted the piece just um, behind this bed because um, the south is over there so it will be blocking a lot of sunlight from this bed but actually that's just what I want because um, in about a f in a few months I'll be planting um, lettuce in this bed and um, shade is actually great for, for lettuce because in, in full sun um, they will just bowl and in the shade they will they will still get a bit of sunlight um, but not too much so they will grow to, to nice lettuces I hope. Right now there is still some spinach in the bed which has just come up and that's doing fine. The same for the radishes over there. So that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, I'm really looking forward to harvesting my peas in a few months and I'll keep you guys updated on uh, how the peas in the rest of the rooftop garden is doing. If you like this video or videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel um, and then I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.